Why the fuck are you redeeming the card on your computer? Did I told you to redeem it anywhere? That's what I did with Microsoft last time, honey. That's Let how you Microsoft do it. Let the Microsoft off. Let the Microsoft get fuck off. Like you are dealing with Microsoft right now. What? Today, I'm going to dig a little bit deeper into the minds of scammers. I want you to think about how far these scammers are willing to go in order to take your money. Sometimes the scammers can come across as sweet and innocent, but once things don't go their way, things turn nasty real quick. I'm going to show you how this particular scammer, through multiple phone calls over several weeks, tries to con me out of $50,000 using different scam techniques. What starts off as loving romance, but let me tell you something, if I'll send you my selfie, what exactly will happen, madam? Uh, honestly speaking, you will be calling me all the time and you will tell me to come to your place. Then leads to a business venture, including international money laundering. No, no, no. Thailand will be the place where the money will be automatically picked up by the receiver. They will be receiving the money and providing it to the people of Hawala. And after all this, the scammer resorts to a basic refund scam, where I redeem all the money myself, finally pushing him to a breaking point. You need to give me the card numbers. Don't put it anywhere. Why are you adding it to your account? It says amount $500 has been added to your balance because I thought I have to send why it over to you. you. Why are you adding it in your account? I because want to, that's I what I card. did last time with Microsoft. First, you're going to see the romance scam. The scammer is named Jackson, but throughout the video, you might see me refer to him as different names to see how he reacts. Sometimes they get frustrated, while other times they just go along with it as if that was their name the whole time. The scammer is based out of a call center in Kolkata, India. Jackson knows that Vivian, the character I play, has money, and he will use many methods to try to steal from her. Pay attention to how he speaks to Vivian, the words he chooses to use, and how quickly he moves. The scammer will do and say anything to get a payday. Now for the first call. Okay, and uh, madam, can you help me out? Like exactly how old are you? Can you help me out with that? Because you're sounding around like 23 or 24 year old lady. Am I correct? I'm 79 years old, honey. Oh my goodness. Honey, honestly speaking, like uh, when I started talking to you, when I heard your voicemail, which was uh, recorded by the Federal Trade Commission for the Quality Assurance, uh, I thought like you were just around 22, 23, 24 years old. Okay, like you are self-independent lady, right? Oh, yes, I'm an independent woman, as as Beyonce would oh, say. Uh, All the women who are independent yeah, throw yeah. your hands up with me. And that's, I'm I'm an, an independent okay. woman. So I had my first husband, well, then I had my alone, second, right? and then I had my third. Arthur was my fourth, and he's gone. So, So now I'm by myself. Oh my goodness. Do you want me to come to your place? Well, I don't know you that well. I'd have to see a selfie. I'd have to see a selfie. You want to see my selfie first? Yes. But let me tell you something. If I'll send you my selfie, what exactly will happen, madam? Uh, honestly speaking, you will be calling me all the time and you will tell me to come to your place every each and every time, honestly speaking. What exactly you said, please? Can you please repeat it, madam? Oh, can you please repeat it once again? Well, uh, David said he wanted to do a video call. Oh, my, oh my goodness. You said, David, I thought like I was feeling happy, like as you told me that you will be going ahead and doing a video call with us. Oh, with well, I'll, I'll do a video but call now you with you. It. Oh, I'll my do, goodness. I'll do a video call with you as well. Is it true what exactly you said? Yeah, it's true. Just, just hold on for a moment. Let me go ahead and pinch myself. Like, uh, I'm not daydreaming. Like, I'm not going ahead and daydreaming about it. Just hold on for a moment. Okay, and you're out of California. Where in California? I beg your pardon? Wait, I just heard that bird again. All right, just be on hold for what a while. What is that bird in the hold, background? Hold what was that bird? Yes, both the chopping because I'm standing near the window. And having a glass of tea right now. That, that sounds the like when I when I was in when I was in uh, Kolkata. That's what that sounds like. I remember those birds. Okay, like you have been to Kolkata as well. Yes, I have. 
Okay, like you stayed in two, three years in Kolkata? Yes, I was the head of the department of a tech support call center. Tech support call center in Yeah, Kolkata. we would help, yes. Oh my goodness. I, I don't know how any of it oh works, goodness. but I was the money behind it. So they, I just kept getting checks every month. Oh, I'm well, working under a legitimate company. What so company you is it? That. I'm just trying to remember. Madam Amazon. Oh, Amazon. Well, I, yeah. speaking of Amazon, okay, listen to me, okay? Here's, would you just would yes. you sit up and put the bong down? Sit up, okay, and just just wake up, slap your face for a second. Listen to me, okay? I'm recruiting. Are you listening, Jordan? Yes, madam. I am yes, recruiting. Madam. I up and sit it. I'm no, recruiting, I'm okay? I'm recruiting. I need. Okay. I need good workers out of Kolkata. I'm recruiting for a new call center. So now that we've built some rapport, this next part, the scammer explains how their money laundering system works. I start to manipulate Jackson by explaining another possible business venture with another scammer, Microsoft guy. This sparks Jackson's jealousy and he proceeds to then show me his own business plan. And now, introducing Driver. Fiverr is your luxury personal driver service. Soar in luxury when Fiverr drives your own vehicle to any location you need. Whether you need a bike ride on the beach, or need to make an important business meeting when you're short on time, our experienced luxury personal drivers will work their hardest to get you there safe and close to on time. Okay, so really quick, let me paint the picture here for those of you that are really excited about Fiverr. We'll go through the presentation in the call, but I wanna highlight how this whole thing works. You load the app and you order a Fiverr to come to your house. Now this Fiverr doesn't have their own vehicle, so they're going to have to use yours. But how do they get to your house in the first place? I still don't know. The Fiverr will then have you move from the driver's seat of your vehicle to the passenger seat. They will then drive your own vehicle to said location. Now, once they reach that location, they will then get out of the vehicle and you'll move over to the driver and they're abandoned at this location that they just drove you to. From there, they have to then find a way to make it back home. So they've made money on the Fiverr app, but then they have to pay for something like an Uber or a Lyft to go back home or get a bike or I guess walk. So let's check out some more Fiverr. At least Rohan from Microsoft at least he's given me a presentation and everything. I told you don't compare me with him, honey, please. Okay. And he's very handsome, too. I don't like that. Now, are you able to see the presentation which has been made? Because this is the Thailand people who have sent me the presentation right now. Friva? Go ahead and have a look. Correct oh, my me that. goodness. Okay, Friva. It's a driver... A driver hiring business. Hold on, honey. Would you leave the mouse? Because it is like in this in behind this presentation, there are four to five customers who are willing to go ahead and invest. So this this is the first person whom I am going ahead and showing the presentation to you. So you are the first person right now. I know, but this is this is a this is a PDF. This isn't a PowerPoint. It was a PDF sent it to me from Thailand, so I have to show it to you directly. Are you sure you made this? Absolutely. Cancellation. Okay, not clearly conveying the message of insurance. Is this Uber? It is not literally Uber. It is a bit similar to that, but it will be very good because I have promised you that I will, I will let you invest in the best place where you can get good profit in a week. See, this is why I, I, I'm oh. extremely disappointed because you said this was supposed to be about All the right. call center. Okay. okay, hold on, hold on for a moment, hold on. Where's the call center PowerPoint? I'm so, I, I waited all this time for this. And you, you told me you were going to do a PowerPoint on the call center. So no problem with that. There are lots of four, four to five customers who want to go ahead and invest in this. 
I think it's an interesting concept. I think it's just like Uber. And for that, I'm out. I'm not going to invest in that one. For that reason, I'm out on this on this one. When you are thinking something bad about it, like you're thinking some kind of wrong things about it, because you really don't know how much people are earning from this business. Leave it. I do know. It's, it's, it's like an mind. Uber, a downgraded Uber. You don't know it. You don't know it about it. You don't know about it at all because how much people are earning from this business, you don't know about it at all. Okay. Leave it. All right. I'm getting call. I'm not getting the, the. Hi, honey. This is Jackson calling you. This is my personal number in which I'm calling you right now. So please note down my number. My number will be 786-75. It's been two days. We haven't had a word together. So I need to talk to you. Yes, madam. This is Jackson. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. Like, was waiting for your call desperately, but you haven't contacted me. I was. I need to talk to you from last two days. I told you that I'm not in California right now. Oh, I you're in. Uh, here, you're I in India, you. right? I already had a word with you, right? Yes, I'm sorry. You're in India, right? Yes, yes. Uh, we already told you. Like, I already told you about it. Yeah, you're in Kolkata, right? And the expenses are very, very, very high right now. Are you in Kolkata? Yes, honey. I just had a word with you. I told you that I'll call you back in another 10 minutes, right? Oh, that's you. Okay, I thought it was the Microsoft guy. I'm sorry. I have a call with the Microsoft guy at 8. Today? Yes, he's, he owes me money. How much money did he owe you? A thousand. thousand dollars? Yes. What exactly he told you? Well, we were supposed to be going into business together. It's a whole story, honey. I don't want to bother you with it. No, no, no. Tell me, tell me. I will be giving you a nice suggestion about it. Tell me that. Well, he had already given me a refund before. And okay. um, he accidentally, the server messed up. Um, so okay. I had to actually, I had to write him a check and send him a check. I had oh, to how mail. How much amount? You have to send him a check. Well, I had to send him a fifty thousand dollar check. So he told you to give you, like he told you to, you gave him fifty five million dollars, right, from your rent. Yes. No, you should not go ahead and do anything like that. Well, I don't know why. Okay. And for how many times, for how many days or months you will be staying in India? Tell me that. Uh, maybe six months to a year. It just depends. You will be staying in India, right? Yeah, it depends how much uh, this guy from Microsoft, how much the dowry is that he's going he's gonna to get for us. For what purpose he, did he told you? Like he wanted to open a call center here, right? Yes. He said that uh, with my money and his skills that we could be unstoppable and take over Kolkata. All right, honey, you listen. You want to do a business in Kolkata, right? Yes. Do you want me to help you out or you want to go ahead with that guy who was having a word with you? Well, I don't know. Tell you you that said thing. that he's trying to steal my money. Jackson, so, you know what? I would, speaking, Jackson, I would lose everything just to feel loved again. What? Is this one of those pyramid schemes? No, no, no. It's not about the pyramid scheme. It's, it is about something else. Uh, you, ever, you ever heard about the people who receive money in Thailand who say and receive money in Thailand, and they provide the money back with the help of a Havala transfer. Oh, can you tell me about India, the Havala transfer? Nepal, China, is, U.S. Yeah, well, tell me about that, because that's part of what the Microsoft guy was telling me. There's a Havala transfer. Yes. The person, the Microsoft guy, told you about the Havala transfer. There are There is a sort of money-making chances available in that because there are some people but one of my closest friends his name is David he have invested some some sort of money like he have invested last week $90,000 and in just a week he have earned $170,000 in just a week because there is a money making chances provided to the people who invest in all those receiving people there is a money-making chance given. 
Right, but how are they so investing in? One. Are they investing in people in the U.S. or where are they investing in? They are investing in people of certain country and states. Like uh, they are investing in Nepal, China, U.S., Australia, Singapore, etc., etc. So you're just like a middle. You want to be a middleman. Middleman. Yeah, you want to take money in. How do you find the people in the United States? I the middleman, the word which you use is it's a very bad word which you use because right now I am the person who is running all the business here. People are working under me who live in Thailand. They are going ahead and doing whatever I am telling in them to go ahead and do. So don't worry about that. Right. I'm not any middleman which you are having a word with, because I don't trust on anyone, because it is all about money. So money is a thing which you can cannot trust anybody. I provide them with some work. They do it. They send me the profit. I send back the profit which from it from the investors who have invested on that. Are there any are there any U.S. investors in into the call center in India? Or is it all Indian investors? There are lots of investors there. There are lots of investors, but people do, doesn't disclose anything about them. Oh, okay. You and business which you are doing, it's not a legal business. It will be a whoa, illegal hold, business whoa, which whoa, we are whoa, doing. Whoa, whoa, hold on now. Is this line recorded? No, 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 no absolutely not. Okay, this is my because money. Okay, phone, don't honey. start saying this is illegal and don't start doing that because I don't know. Hold on, that's way crossing the line. I know that, honey. It's not about you are taking any kind of risk and there is no risk in this business. For the five, I'm guiding you how you can easily do that and they will never get to know about it. Well, where does it go? Time, you can where does it go after go Thailand? No, no, no. But Thailand will be the place where the money will be automatically picked up by the receiver, he will be receiving the money and providing it to the people of Hawala. After you provide the next wire transfer into a different receiver who is in Thailand, he receives that money. Or he makes it. He makes it total of the amount of nine, like maybe around ninety thousand dollars. He makes it total and hand it over to the Hawala people. They provide the money into the business which is going ahead and taking place. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know where this call was going to go to, but um, you know, we're here. We are here, y'all. That's what these streams are like. Um, you never know. You never know where this thing's going to go. I mean, this guy's. Yeah, he's admitted he's a criminal. He's admitted he wants a bunch of money from me. Let's see. If, let's see if he called me back. After Jackson embarrasses himself with the Fiverr flop, he's run out of options, so he resorts to his tried and true, old faithful, the refund scam. Now he might be really incompetent, or this might be his first time doing this scam, but he messes up a bunch of times along the way, and even asks me to leave the computer so that I don't see what's going on on the screen. It's quite embarrassing and pitiful. Like we are not supposed to go ahead and share any kind of details with anyone regarding the banking stocks of our company. So can you please go ahead and be in place in your next room for a while? Just give me five minutes, please. Okay. This is a first for me, um, this idiot doing this. Like? <clears throat> this is a refund scammer right now. Um, he's seen my bank account. He's actually only trying to put $500 in for some reason. I don't know why. The scam, sub the re refund supposed to be 500 but he's putting in more. He's not putting 500 in. And also what he's doing here, for those of you who might not know, he's doing inspect elements. So what they can do here is they're editing the HTML, right? So they're inspecting the element. They're going in. This is him going in and doing this. Like how lazy they are. They write, they don't even use capital letters. So also on top of what we're doing, so I'm just, oh, he did do 50,000. So not only is he trying, <clears throat> not only is he trying to steal money from me in the scam call center, he is trying to steal $50,000. So he's going to go edit this where I took out, I already have $50,000 taken out for a check. He's going gonna, gonna to edit this and say that, uh, all right, here we go. Hello. Where are you, honey, right now? Um, I came back inside. 
So you need to go back to the same room, honey, for a minute. Because, well, what do you want me to do? Uh, you want me to just look at the floor or something? I don't understand what I'm supposed no. to do in this room. All right, honey. I'll be right back then. When, okay. Um, I don't know why he's making the screen smaller if I'm away from the computer. So this is the online banking portal of United States of America right now in which you are connected. So you need to be very careful while you are putting down your information because you cannot erase it. Okay. Okay. It says don't name do Vivian anything after that. is not don't recognized as an internal I, or external command operable program or batch file. I told you not to do anything. Just type down the name. That's it. Okay. But why don't I put enter after that? No, you don't have to put anything because it's an automated form. You don't have to provide anything after entering any kind of keys. You don't have to shout at me. I'm really sorry about that, honey, because I told you it is an automated form about that. So you have to be very careful about it because you don't have to make any kind of mistakes in this because it is an online banking portal you are connected with. So what exactly can you see there on your computer? Um, it says error. And then it says my name. And it says account. Don't touch anything. Don't touch it anything. Says, Told you don't touch anything. You well, are in the I online banking the... portal right now. Nope. Seven, Why eight, are you touching it, honey? I told you don't touch it. You are in the online banking portal right now, honey. That is not a small thing. It is the online banking portal of the United States of America in which you are connected right now. So don't make any mistakes. If the server will get to know that you're opening something else while you are connected with the support of a banking portal, I will be in trouble and I will be losing my job, which I don't want to go ahead and lose it. Okay, 500? No, I didn't. Why does it say 5,000? What happened, honey? It says 5,000 5, error. Error, because you have put down the uh, wrong amount. That is where the reason it may be coming up as error. No problem with that. So you will be getting the same option again by the automated form. Once you see that, just do let me know. Is it 500? Just have a look correctly, please. Um, let's see here. It says, what does 500,000 C mean? If John $50, doesn't... $50,000? It says if John doesn't accept the money... Wait, hold on. Go back. It says... Don't it's, touch it, anything. It Give says me a minute. If John doesn't accept the money by July 1st, we'll cancel you. It's it's August 24th. Yeah, it says transfer from Chase on uh, last week. It says last week $50,000. How does that happen? My goodness. Give me a minute. Let me check it. What the hell is happening? Right Do I need there? to go back out of the room? No, hold on. Because as it, as it is, Let a big mistake, which is Hold taking on. place. Will, don't touch anything. Don't do a lesson. Don't do anything right now. Don't go ahead and do anything. Well, I just right want to refresh I and triple check. You. I just want to triple no, check. No, don't check it. Don't check it. My company's accounts will be going ahead and going and taking all of your funds and keeping on hold, in which you won't be getting a single penny until and unless you won't give us that fund back. So I don't want you to lose your funds right now. All of that work in Jackson still has gotten no money from me. I decided to call him up two weeks later to surprise him at around 6 a.m. India time asking for a presentation. Watch what happens when he asks for gift cards. Hello? Hello? Is this Jackson? Yes, this is Jackson. How are you? Well, I, I haven't heard from you. From a long time, right? Right. What, how are you? Well, I'm fine. I was waiting for you to do the PowerPoint. You never did. No more PowerPoint, honey. Why? Because I'm, I don't want to do any work. I'm not working. What do you mean you're not working? I'm not working anymore. My financial condition is not good, honey, now. Let me at least $2,000. 2000 I'm never going to see that back. And you'll never talk to me again. Like, will you lend me some money right now? Like, is it possible for you to send me some money today? Well, you can easily buy Google Play gift cards, right, for me? Yeah, if you connect to my computer. You reach the Walmart store? Yeah. Just go ahead and buy 
you need to buy four Walmart gift cards. Okay. What kind? Five hundred dollars each. I got yes, uh, cards? ten cards, five hundred dollars each. How many cards you bought? A uh, ten. That's all that they have. Ten cards. Yeah. Ten cards of five hundred dollars. Yeah. Walmart gift card, right? Uh, no. Uh, Best Buy or excuse me, uh, Google Play. I'm sorry. All of them are Google Play gift cards. Yeah. And you got ten cards of five hundred dollars. Yeah. All total of five thousand, right? Oh, is that how much? Oh, I didn't need to get that much. No problem. You got ten cards of five hundred. Yeah, I right? can take back the other ones if I need to. No, no problem. You can give it to me all of them. No problem with it. Okay, I'm inside on my computer now. I'm going to the website. When Jackson goes onto my computer one last time to validate the Google Play cards, you're going to see me redeeming the cards in a way that makes the scammer think he is losing his money. Listen to how he reacts when his cards continue to dwindle down in numbers of two. I told you not to go to any website. First, you take the cards. Yeah, I'm on, this is what I've done with Microsoft when I have to redeem the you cards. Not. Scratch the card and help me with the numbers. Okay, hold on. Okay, I already added the first one. Added I, I the redeemed first one? Uh, yeah, I redeemed the first one. I it am says telling you to tell me the card added. numbers. Do not, do not redeem it anywhere. Just tell me the card numbers, Ani. That's it. Why are you putting it to in your computer? Did I tell you to put it in your computer? Yeah. Don't put it in your computer. Just switch off your computer first. No, it says five hundred dollars has been added to your account. You need okay, to give me the, the card numbers. The second one. Just right. tell me the card numbers. The second one, F G A M. Okay, let me put All this right, one in on. to your Google account. Will you listen to me? Why are you putting it into your computer? Because you told me to. I never told you to put it in your computer. I told you to give it to me. You need to give me the card numbers. Don't put it anywhere. Why are you adding it to your account? It says amount five hundred dollars has been added to your balance because I thought I have to send why it over to you. you. Why are you adding it in your account? I because want it. that's I want what I did last time with Microsoft. So I put in a thousand already. Can I send that to you? No need to send it to me. You have the eight cards with you. Eight more cards yeah, you have, right? Yeah, there's eight more. Don't put it anywhere on your account. First, switch off your computer and tell me the card numbers which is there available in the card. Do not put those card numbers anywhere. Five. Hold on. Hold on. Slowly, slowly tell me the card numbers. C not in a hurry. C-B-A-T-P-T-4-5. This is a Google card? This is the Google Play card gift card number? Yeah. Yes, are you there? Oh, well, yeah, I picked up and I hit redeem because you okay. hung up on me. So I, the third one's in. Why the f are you redeeming the card on your computer? Did I told you to redeem it anywhere? That's what I did with Microsoft last time, honey. That's Let how you Microsoft do it. Fuck off. Let the Microsoft get f off. Like you're dealing with Microsoft right now. What? Do not do anything with the cards right now. Just be on the line. Hold on. <laughs> He keeps saying he's freaking out because he's talking to a friend trying to figure out how to get these cards uh, switched over. That's what he's doing. Hey, Richard, I have the other. So, I, Richard, I went and got cards. I was talking with this other gentleman, and I know I owe you money. Do you take the Google Store cards? Now, I start to pretend that Richard, the Microsoft guy, is trying to contact me. At times, I will even call Jackson Richard to infuriate him even further. I've collected 10 Google Play cards and use each one to push Jackson further and further off the ledge. Now, listen, you know how to type down a message, right? We already had a word in messages, right? Is this Richard? This is Jackson speaking. Oh, well, I'm supposed to be. I have a call with Richard at 1015. Can I call you after that, Jackson? No, just help me out with the card numbers first. Hold I'm on, waiting he's calling for you me. to oh, give me the card. I, I know, I owe him cards as well. Let me call you right back, You need back, to give honey. it to me first. Let you me need call to you give right it to back. me first. Yes, uh, first, let me, uh, first let me write down the card numbers. Please help me out with the card numbers. Please. No, Richard, that's not what we had discussed, honey. F*** off. <laughs> 
Uh, he's so greedy. He's so mad. He's so mad. He's texting me, don't ever call me again. Don't call me anymore. And that was Jackson for you, accomplishing absolutely nothing from $50,000 to zero. If uh, he's good at one thing in his scam, then... Oh. This is Pierogi. Oh, hey, this is Fiverr Driver. Yeah, thanks for calling. What do you mean canceling? No. No, the concert's in 45 minutes. No, I can't get you a Fiverr. You're the Fiverr. Look, I, I know you're going to be stranded at the concert. I've seen the PowerPoint. That's the business model. No. Okay. Well, yeah, you can, you can stay in my car. Yeah, I do have two helmets and a, a spare bedroom. Okay. Well, Google Play. Is this Jackson?